Hi, this is Strong from Zopac Medical. This video will demonstrate how to use Zopac Transport UPS 90 for nasal high flow transport. In front of me, I have a power strip, the Zopac Transport UPS 90 battery, and the Fisher Pico My Airbow 2. To turn on the UPS battery, you just press and hold the power button, and you will see that the battery capacity indicator turns on, and uh, FF means uh, full or 100% charged. You also see that the blue indicator light, that is the DC uh, indicator, which means the USB ports are on. To turn on the AC outlets, you just need to press the button again, and you will see that the red LED light is on, which indicates that the AC outlets are on. This UPS um, does not require to be plugged in to turn on the Airbo 2. So um, let's um, give that a try. So here's the Airbo 2 power plug, and then we just plug it in. And um, let's turn on the Airbo 2. So the Airbo 2 turns on, uh, no problem. The current setting is at the maximum setting. It's at um, 37 degrees Celsius and uh, 60 liters per minute. So uh, right now it's drawing the most power to uh, heat the water as well as the heated tube. And uh, you can see that it starts uh, with no problems. Okay. Now, um, before the transport, normally um, the UPS is plugged in and um, uh, the UPS uh, battery stays at 100% uh, or uh, full. So um, let's uh, uh, get back to that. So then, okay, so you can see that um, before transport, it should be running the Airbo 2 and also uh, stays at 100%. Now, this um, UPS is uh, very small and very light. The length is about 11 and a half inches. The width is about six and a quarter inch and it's about two inches tall. And it only weighs um, for 4.75 pounds. Now we design really small uh, because it's very powerful and can transport uh, about 90 minutes. That's why it's called the UPS 90. But 90 minutes at 37 degrees Celsius and 60 liters per minute at the maximum settings. And this is also why that we added the USB port to run Aerogen uh, nebulizer because it transports for so long. And being so small and so light and it transports so long, uh, this allows um, you to add uh, oxygen tanks to the to the cart because you do need uh, additional uh, oxygen uh, for transporting for up to an hour and a half. So um, this um, UPS allows for patients to go out for a walk with nasal high flow therapy and uh, nebulizer therapy to go out um, to get some sun or um, do physical therapy and uh, for an hour plus. So um, before transport, um, it stays at 100%. Now let's pretend we're transporting and the key is that we are going to unplug the UPS and we shouldn't see any interruption of the Airbo 2. So ready? One, two, three. So you can see that the Airbo 2 continues to run. There is no interruption to the therapy at all. And uh, let's come back. And uh, you can see that the Airbo 2 is running um, with the battery now. And uh, the battery is uh, starting to drain. Now uh, let's um, uh, pretend that we had gone out for an hour um, with the patient and um, uh, the percentage is much lower 
the key is that when we come back, we want to plug it back in and uh, it charges back to 100%. So it's ready for the uh, next transport. So uh, let's pretend that we're back and uh, let's uh, plug it in. And now you can see that um, it's flashing again and uh, it's starting to uh, charge back up. If you have uh, any questions, uh, please contact us at zopec.com. That's uh, Z-O-P-E-C.com. And uh, we'll be happy to uh, answer any questions that you have. Thank you very much.